I'll say it. I hate wearing shoes. Oh? They are a necessary evil sometimes. Hiking, skateboarding, running, winter life in general. It's hard to function without them. Though some crazies try things like barefoot running. A cool looking pair can make an outfit, can make you feel amazing. But at the end of the day, and I'm sure I'm not alone, taking them off is one of the best feelings in the world. I don't know when I got hooked,、uh, probably when I was in Hawaii. But now, if I can wear a pair of slippers, thongs, or flip flops, whatever you call them, I will. Design of Things Summer Special 2. Custom slippers. So let's look at the design of slippers, and I'll refer to them as slippers from here on out. For this one, I'll exclude slides like these Adidas Cloud Foam or Boost sandals, as they are somewhat of a different beast. We'll use this custom slipper today. These have been worn in well and are, we could say, Thoroughly battle tested. In the world of slippers, this is not the bottom of the barrel, the dollar slipper or the old navy slipper, but it retains the basic construction and quite a few similarities with them. Let's start there. On the bottom, there is a simple tread pattern, which can only be called tread loosely, as like with most cheap slippers, It wore away really quickly. As a result, concrete plus a puddle of water, more effective than a banana peel thrown by a Luigi. On the bottom, we can see the main failure point of all slippers of this style how the straps attach to the sole. Simply, they are pushed through a hole in the bed. This is the first thing that breaks. Before you wear out the sole, The strap snaps out. Oh, you can put it back in, even super glue the perimeter. But if it came out once, that's the beginning of the end for your slipper. The branded models, like these, tend to last a little longer as they use higher quality rubber. Let's flip it slowly and look at the profile. Yeah, not much cushion in the sole. It's only about a centimeter thick, but when broken in, will mold to the shape of the feet. Here we also have this custom ramen noodle like footbed. An interesting way to massage the feet. Quite nice, actually. If you haven't tried it, I recommend giving it a go, unless you have sweaty or, can we say, overly odious feet. It does trap nasty, something awful. This is the first point of contact with the user, so it is important. Obviously, the sole will in large part determine the comfort of the slipper, but the other point of contact, the strap, is perhaps even more important, as it determines how firmly your feet are attached to the sandal, and if, after wearing them, you'll come out with blisters on your feet. Let's look closely at the design. First, the black part on the top. This is purely aesthetic, the pattern bringing a bit of flair to the design. The custom brand popping in blue against the black background. Now, this is just paint, but on this pair, it's already survived a couple summers of constant use. The understrap design is more important. This blue section is gently rounded, with no hard or kind of sharp edges, which is hugely important for comfort. The strap in between the big and second toe is likewise rounded and designed for comfort. And here is an important detail it isn't just connected parallel to the strap, the strap angles into the toe piece. This reduces friction with the first joint on the big toe and minimizes pressure points for all the little piggies. This angle also allows the slipper to mold around the contours of the foot better 
when it attaches to the soul in these two additional points. These points also have the potential for being uncomfortable. Their position is crucial, too far to the back and they rub the heel area, also making it a bit harder to put on, too far forward and they can be a rough contact point as well. Of course, these will only be comfortable to specific feet, as every body is different. But for me, compared to a pair of shoes, I'll take my slippers any day. Enjoy summer, or look forward to your next one. Until next time, on Design of Things.